What's going on, fam? It's the entertainer, motivator, educator, Lucky Murray, back with another Gamecock news update. Today, we're speaking about SEC media days. We're speaking about Josh Pate exclusively talking about South Carolina, what he said about it. I'm going to give you my opinions on that and everything else in between. But before, before I go any further, here's what I need you to do. Uh, one of three things. Join the Patreon. Yes, that's exclusive content, man. You don't want to miss it. The season's coming up. There's going to be some great things cracking up at the uh, Lucky Murray uh, Patreon page. So go to patreon.com for that Lucky Murray. Two, you need... Uh, to buy the merch, merch will be linked in the description below. If you can't do that, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to let you know every time I drop a video. Three, share the video, helps out time. Let's get into this, man. So, right now, I got the video queued up. I'm not gonna hold y'all to it. We're gonna listen to a few snippets of it. I'm gonna give you my opinion on this, man. Day and what's the overall vibe around the South Carolina program going into year two? And I don't think it's the biggest surprise in the world to say that maybe there was a little bit of a starstruck moment, maybe a little bit overwhelmed at times last year for Shane Beamer. Uh, that is the SEC, and that's the nature of being a first-year head coach. And I also don't think people fully appreciate how much more is on the plate of a coach, new or old today, than there was even 10 years ago, than there was 20 years ago. The sport has so rapidly changed. If you guys think about it, you have positions in your football program now that didn't exist five years ago. Nope. You didn't have anyone scouting the transfer portal no and scouting, scouting college football because the portal didn't exist in the format it does now. And I say all that to say, you've got to be a master of so much more now yeah. than you ever were before. That's why I think about Venables, a first-time head coach. Beamer, a first-time head coach. Yep. Uh, Dan Lanning at Oregon, a first-time head coach. And I appreciate how difficult it must be. Can't Very have difficult. experienced it, but I appreciate it. So Shane Beamer comes in year one. That's what he deals with. We always use the metaphor of trying to drink water from a fire hose. That's kind of what he tried to do last year. They won about three more games than the folks in the desert thought they would. Yep. They won more games, truthfully, than I thought they would. Haters. And that serves to be a catalyst on the recruiting trail coming out of year one. Here's what it can do going into year two. It can create a false sense of expectation. And I'm not here to say bet the under, bet the under, bet the under on Carolina. What I am here to do, though, is... Anytime someone just assumes, well, for them to improve, they have to have eight or more wins, I don't think you've looked at their schedule, and I don't really think sometimes you know how this game works overall. So South Carolina, as I've told you many times, they could be a 7-5 and five team this year with five close losses, and I'd view it as a better accomplishment than 8-4 with four blowout losses. Because ultimately, the trajectory of the program would still be heading up. But Shane Beamer came in today, and he talked a lot about how there was a lot on my plate last year, and there still is. But what I appreciate about him is, number one, he's appreciative I think I heard him say thank you about 37 times today, and I wasn't around him all day. Yeah. But the other part yeah. is, I think they've made some good hires, and I think they're starting to get some traction in recruiting, and this has kind of been happening fairly recently. I know on the 24-7 sports team rankings, they're floating around 30 right now. They'll make a move. Uh, they will rapidly ascend those team rankings, but you can feel it. You can feel it from the head coach. You can feel it from the players. You can feel it from some of the support staff, talking to some of the creative guys from Carolina today. Everybody shares the same vision. I'm going to stop right there, people, because you already know what time it is. Uh, Josh Pape, that's from the late kick. He does college football coverage for 247sports.com. Spoke exclusively about the game. Cause, and I want to kind of touch on that real quick. Um, if you listen to what Shane Beamer said, because I listened to the whole uh, press conference, the elevation that his expectation, his, the coaching staff expectation is through the roof. Now, did he say that he's going to win the national championship? No. But what he did say was that, listen, expectation is very high. And they said last year that nobody talked about South Carolina. I remember that. He said the only thing that really got buzzed was when we recreated the iconic Arby's uh, photo with Steve Spurrier. Right? They did the studio challenge just a minute ago. Shane Beamer and that soccer line team has social media on fire. He has a lot of different things rolling. And I agree with Josh as well to say that if we go 76 again and, you know, that differential of losses is, is, is increasing and we're more competitive, that's a great year instead of going 8-4 and four with four blowout losses. You know, I think records does speak for itself, but at the same time, records go out the window if you can pass the eye test. So with all that being said, I truly believe that year two is probably going to be the best year for Shane Beamer, and it's going to extend, um, whether that's eight to nine wins. I think we're going to be about eight, nine wins in, in the window. I think we're going to be plus one. But with Spencer Rattler, I, I can see us winning nine wins. Uh, he's he giving us three more wins this year. 
But it's exciting to see that South Carolina program and national pundits talking about us in a very great light, to say the least. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Like always, man, if you want to watch more of my content, man, go to this video right here. Uh, click on the link, man. Watch more of my content. Let YouTube know that you dig digging Lucky Murray. But once again, it's the entertainer, motivator, educator, and please don't forget all three. Lucky Murray, back with another game cut news update. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. But like always, it's the next time, people.